they have some few minutes to wrap up, but I mean, there's a conversation that we I want us to quickly have and to put it before you, and that has to do largely with uh, our president getting heckled or booed uh, at the uh, Global Citizen uh, concert. Now, this is it. This is it. I mean, this is a concert that uh, is set up, and again, it was not just in Ghana. Uh, immediately that event finished in Ghana, they switched over to New York City where it started. And so it was seamlessly run. Beautiful event, lots of uh, reviews from uh, our people, attendees that when people who even watched online could see there were issues of good sound, very, and I mean, it was being compared to a lot more of the events that were happening. A lot of people that graced the, the stage. Asha was there, Stormzy was there, our own, uh, you know, Sarkodia was there, and it was the major talking point with what he had done. There was Stoneboy, uh, there was Thames, and a lot of people had come through to perform and up until uh, the the president of the republic of ghana nana dodanko akufuado came now first of all first of all first of all <laughs> let's establish this for a lot of people who do not understand this global citizen concert was put up or is organized mainly to address women empowerment issues poverty and of course climate change and so they are you are not to buy tickets you go to online you download the app first of all and there are things you do you win points before you get your tickets print it out or however you get it to the event before you attend and there were street rules that you needed to 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 go through before uh, even on the event ground so this is not also the first time that a president has addressed the global citizen concert and it has to be clear that in the past uh, or in yeah of course in the past we have had president barack obama addressing the concert we've also had president macron of france also doing same so this is not the first time we've had presidents who have addressed the global citizen concert now coming to what had happened uh, we understand now that the mpp and the ndc are up the mpp is saying that the uh, NDC had bust their supporters to the place. <laughs> now, even people who are part of the New Patriotic Party, uh, I have heard Dr. Marco Ba speak about uh, that that was the real feeling of the Ghanaian. But I take it from a different level. So I'm not going to do the politics today. I take it from a different level. So there are people who do not really understand why they went there. I said, this event is to address three main issues, women empowerment, climate change, and poverty. So when you are going there, don't just focus on you going to watch Asha or, or, and all of these. You are going to get people who also talk. Indeed, some of the MCs were even addressing and throwing quotes to this phenomenon. Was it the right time to have a president erect electing, put a microphone and deliver a speech? Could it be done in a different way? Could, could he have been more charismatic about it? Could we have gotten just maybe a one minute or less talk from him and very charismatic extemporaneous where we have extempo where he doesn't have to read so that it doesn't bore the people? Because you see, sometimes when people are enjoying themselves and you go and you start talking plenty, you get that way. Not necessarily because of who you are, but there are ways because, Charlie, we want to enjoy Asha and Sarkodie, and you are here talking. So the handlers of the could have been that you record it and play, or he comes there rather, and do an ex tempo, and not erect electing that bores the people. I think we need to understand. Also, for those of you who do not know, the Speaker of Parliament, uh, okay, they are Speaker of Parliament in the U.S., Nancy Pelosi was also booed at the New York City concert, Global Citizen con Concert. So is it because people are angry and they just want to enjoy themselves and they do not want to see any political actor? Or is this because people just want you to get off the stage for us to enjoy ourselves? So let's not be too personal about this whole business. I think what we need to do is to rather look at it from the communications point of view. 
whether or not it was the right time to have the president come to stand there and give the speech the way he did. I am not against the speech, but can we change it? Can he do ex tempo? Can he just quickly do that in some few seconds and go off so that we do not? Because the boo did not start when the president just walked in. It was at some point in his speech. So, I mean, let's be open-minded about some of these things and let's not reduce it to an MPP NDC thing because how on earth were we going to bust MPP or NDC supporters to the place? It was a place you just have to go online and ensure you win more points to get the ticket. So let's be more open-minded about this. And the handlers of the president, the communication directed, we're doing a good job, but we can do more. And it's, we are not the only people who are booed. So those of us who are also insulting the people who booed the president, I think you are doing us a great disservice. We can understand the times, the prevailing conditions, they are bad. And so let's do it the next time in a, in a more appropriate way. That's my way of uh, the take on the issue of the booing of the president. Whether it's heckling or booing, I really do not know.